Power Pivot is an Excel add-in which is used to perform data analysis and create data models. It was introduced by Microsoft in Excel 2010 as a downloadable add-in. However, in the latest version of Excel, it comes with the application itself. Power Pivot was created to transform Excel into a standalone business intelligence platform. It utilizes a local instance of Microsoft's powerful analysis service engine, enabling users to build advanced calculated measures, data models, and work with relational databases. The same engine is used by other popular products from Microsoft like SSAS and Power BI as well. But enough with these technical jargons, let's dive in and see what it can accomplish for a data analyst. Welcome everyone to Pivotal Stats, where we talk about data analysis techniques, business intelligence platforms, and much, much more. So let's go. Hey guys. So now, since you know a little bit about Power Pivots, let's see how to add Power Pivots into your Excel workbook. For users of Excel 2010, you should follow the instructions given in the link that I've pasted in the description to download and add the Power Pivot add into your Excel files. For users of later versions of Excel, this is how you do it. I have opened an Excel file here and within this Excel file, go to File, go to Options and within Options, you'll see a tab called Add-ins. Go to Add-ins, select from drop down Com Add-ins and press Go. And once you do that in the new prompt, you will see power pivots for Excel. Okay. So you just press okay. And automatically the power pivot add in is added to your Excel application. Now, whenever you open any Excel workbook, you will see this tab there because you've already added the add in. Okay. So now that you have seen how to add power pivot to your Excel, let's understand its benefits. Number one, there is no limit on data import. So let me explain how. So while using normal Excel, you can only import up to 10 million records. However, in Power Pivots, there is no such limit. Technically, you can import as many rows as you want, provided your system memory can handle that load. This comes in as a major advantage for any data analyst because now you don't have to rely on SQL and big data platforms to analyze huge data sets. You can do it right away in Excel. Isn't that great? Benefit number two, relationships and model building. So while in basic Excel, you could only work with one data set at a time and had to rely on functions like uh, VLOOKUP to get additional information from different tables. Power Pivots let you create relationships among multiple tables and build complex data models, which will enable you to perform advanced data analysis steps, which were previously unknown to Excel. So imagine you creating a table which has components from multiple tables, which you compiled by joining those tables together and bringing together into one table, all done within Excel. Amazing, right? Third benefit, data availability. Now, as I explained before, Power Pivot utilizes a localized analysis service engine of Microsoft. And the entire data that you import into Power Pivot gets stored into an analytical database, which resides inside your Excel workbook. Now it is available to be used in pivots and charts because it is a localized database for you which gives you amazing data visualization capabilities. So imagine you creating a pivot table or a summary of a data, which is more than 10 million records. And then you create a summary out of it and instantly create a chart from that summary of your pivot, right? It gives you amazing capabilities in terms of data analyzing and data visualization. Benefit number four, no lag. So if you have worked with huge data sets in Excel, right, you would know that applying formulas and working with huge data is generally a pain because it will crash often, uh, processing time varies a lot and can lead to delays in your workflow, 
but with power pivot importing huge data and analyzing it and then applying complex calculation on it using dax which is data analysis expression is a breeze right it it does not lag again provided your system memory is good enough and by the way dax is a expression language within the analysis engine which is also used by power pivots and this is equivalent to you entering a formula into basic excel right it is equivalent to that so you create calculated measures and calculated uh, formulas complex formulas within the engine using dax so this was an introduction to power pivots but this is not the end i will discuss each aspect of power pivots in detail in my future videos so be sure to subscribe to the channel and press that notification icon so that you get notified whenever i upload new videos and stay tuned for more thank you so much for watching see you in the next one